Today I'm going to show you how to fabricate a garden patio heater from this old carbon steel tank. To do that we're going to use a range of Norton abrasives from our Right Angle Grinder Solution program. The Right Angle Grinder Solution program involves eight different applications which any fabricator can follow to get to whatever finish is required in the fewest steps possible. Before we do that we need to get on our safety gear. So our gloves, our glasses and our ear defenders, once we do that we're ready to go. First, we need to measure a piece of carbon steel that will be used to create the air hole at the bottom of the heater. To cut the steel to size, I'm using the Norton Quantum 3 1.6mm disc. The ceramic grain inside the disc gives a really fast, clean cut without bluing the metal. Here I'm using the carbon steel pipe to measure the right size for the air hole. Then I'm going to cut the hole out using the same Norton Quantum 3 cutting disc as it gives great cut control as well as speed and life. Before moving on to the next stage, it's always a good idea to clean off the scale and rust before welding to avoid contamination and for a neat weld seam. To do that, I'm using Norton Vulcan flat disc. Now I'm cutting the legs to length using the Norton Quantum 3 1.3mm disc, which is thinner than the 1.6 for better accuracy. To quickly tidy up the sharp edges on the ends of the legs, I'm using the Norton Vulcan flat disc again in grit 60. Before welding, I'm going to remove the mill scale using Norton Blaze Rapid Strip, which removes surface contaminants quickly and doesn't load. It's also great as it conforms to contours without creating flat spots. Now I'm creating the air vent from thin sheet steel where I'll use the Norton Quantum 3 1.3mm cutting disc for greater accuracy. Here I'm removing excess material and burrs to create a flat edge. I'm using the Norton Vulcan flat disc in grit 60 as it's aggressive so ideal for this application. After further cleaning, measure the bottom of the tank for the positioning of the legs and the air hole. These can then be welded into place. I'm now fabricating the handle for the vent using 8mm carbon steel dowel, which will be welded onto the vent and cut to length with the Norton Quantum 3 1.3mm cutting disc. As the legs are in place, I'm going to measure the position of the door, which I'm going to cut with the Norton Quantum 3 to make the hinge side. Prior to welding the hinges, I'm using the Norton Vortex Rapid Blend to clean up the area. The hinges are welded on before I cut out the rest of the door to ensure it remains in the correct position. The hinges are in place, so I'm going to cut the rest of the door. To complete the door, I'm bending the carbon steel down to a 90 degree angle. After cutting, weld the dowel onto the latch plate and then directly onto the door to create the handle. For the chimney, I'm using the Norton Vulcan flat disc again in grit 60 to tidy the pipe and remove excess stock and burrs. As we did with the legs, before welding we need to remove the mill scale using the Norton Blaze Rapid Strip. Now the chimney can be welded into place. Moving back to the door, I'm removing all the sharp edges using a Norton Norzon fibre disc in grit 60. This is a good option for removing burrs on non-ferrous metal without removing too much material and I'm using it with a hard backup pad for a flat, consistent finish. The flat contact area makes it easier to control and help generate the required angle. To finish and polish up, here I'm using the Norton Vortex Rapid Blend again, this time over the complete door. Now to neaten up the weld around the chimney base. For this I'm using the Norton Quantum 3 Combo Disc. At 4.2mm thick is perfect for rough cutting, grinding, weld cleaning and beveling, fitting into small and tight spaces as you can see here. I'll tidy this up further with the Norton Vulcan Flat Disc in Grit 60, quickly removing the weld seam. Grit 60 can leave light finish lines which can be easily removed when blending and refining. Now to add the chimney lid. The final stage is blending and polishing the whole heater. For this I'm using Norton Vortex Rapid Blend, a really versatile disc which can remove sharp edges, blend deep scratches and clean welds whilst providing a uniform finish.
So here we have it, a garden patio heater made from a rusty old carbon steel tank. With the Norton right angle grinder process, you can go from cutting, grinding, right through to finishing in as few steps as possible.